Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. My name is Amy. I love makeup, skincare, I love my cats. <laughs> I do a lot of videos surrounding beauty products, but I also do a little fashion, a little vlogging, a little bit of everything. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. As you saw in the title, I have... As you saw in the title and thumbnail, we've got some empty products to talk about. So there are a lot of empties and right now I'm getting ready to move hopefully here in the next couple of days. So I really wanted to be able to go through all of these and go ahead and recycle everything that I can, toss what I can't, and basically just something else to clear out so I don't have to take it with me to my new house. I do also want to mention too, this is the only one that I'm not completely empty, but I felt like it was a good one to tell you about anyway. It is the Goalie Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. So I think I have only like three in here so I'll finish these by tomorrow so again I just wanted to be able to go ahead and recycle so I really love these I do have an affiliate code for this but I get a lot of questions of like you know do you really like it is it something that you really enjoy and I honestly do so with these they taste to me almost nothing like apple cider vinegar liquid. They taste actually really good. I think they're really yummy. So I love them. I do feel like after using two bottles, I feel like I do start to see some difference. There's a lot of things just like a multivitamin that aren't noticeable like in your day-to-day -day life, but I do feel like they help control my appetite. Again, they taste really good and they have all the benefits of regular apple cider vinegar without the nasty, disgusting taste and I could not handle it. I tried it. So I really love them. I'll go ahead and put my code up here just in case you're interested. I already repurchased four more bottles. I just really wanted to stock up. So I love them. If you're curious, that's my honest opinion. And I'm going to keep chewing these guys up because I enjoy them. So there you go. Everything else is completely empty. So I have a lot to go through. So I'm going to be trying to be kind of quick about it. But if you have questions about anything that I talk about, go ahead and drop that in the comments below and I will try to get back to every single person. So without further ado, because it's already way too long, let's get into it. All right, let's talk about a couple of first day beauty products. First off, the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. I actually really, really love. I bought this for my boyfriend to have him use on the like bumpy arms that he has. And he was like, yeah, I like it. But I was like, hmm, let me just give this a try and see what I think about it and I love it. I actually love it all over my body and this one has AHA so it has a very mild chemical exfoliation in it too so you get the physical and the chemical and I think it does wonders for my skin. Even if you're sensitive it's really good so it's good for KP but also just in general. I love it as a body scrub. Next up from First Aid Beauty the Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask. So I'm gonna be honest I tried this for quite a while. I tried the entire jar. As you can see, I went ahead and rinsed it out so I'm ready to recycle. Honestly, I didn't feel like this did very much. Like, I don't know. It's just a hydrating mask that has vitamin C in it. And it's funny, when I put this on my skin, I actually feel like not a burn and it's not tingly either though it's like a solid little like flush to the skin if that makes sense and I wasn't quite expecting that so I was like oh maybe this is gonna really do something for me and really I just didn't see a major difference I usually love first aid beauty products but I just wasn't really feeling this one all right something I love IGK first class dry shampoo this is probably my number one favorite now this is the like deep cleansing one for super oily hair and I tend to get really oily at the scalp no matter what I do it's just how my hair is and my ends will be dry but with my oily scalp so I love to let my hair go you know multiple days without washing so I'm not stripping the dry parts of my hair so I put this like just in my roots massage it in it is so so good it doesn't have a bad white cast it's a little bit pricey but honestly I think it's amazing it's got charcoal in it too so it really really soaks up the oil and it doesn't leave my hair feeling like gritty and unmanageable like I still feel like I can you know brush through my hair I can put it up wear it down whatever so I love that one Briogeo or Rosarco Milk this is their reparative leave-in conditioner I did like this I actually thought about repurchasing because it went on sale and then I was like you know what I have too many hair products I do think it's really good and it has no sulfates no silicone and no parabens silicone will restrict your hair from being able to absorb moisture so I am you know starting to be a little bit more conscious looking for products that don't have silicone I did really like this one and it lasts a long time 
time as well. Next up, I have the Erno Laszlo Sensitive Cleansing Oil. I'm going to be honest, I didn't feel like this really did anything for me. Usually when I use an oil that I love to like break down my makeup, it really like emulsifies into your makeup. You wet it and it gets a little milky. Not always, but usually. And this one I just didn't feel really broke down the makeup. Also, it is kind of pricey. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase this. I didn't feel like it did anything. I can think of 10 other oils, balms, and makeup removers that I like way, way more. So yeah, just very underwhelming. I'm going to talk about some Ula Henriksen products together because I actually kind of use this as a regimen and I loved it. And I don't normally do that. I usually mix up my products routine a lot. Like you'll see me with 10 different brands. I don't care. Just I, I like to find that one product that works no matter the brand, if that makes sense. But I really love this. So that tells you a lot because usually I will not stick with one brand, but I use this up like together as a system. So this is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. This one is relatively new. The Banana Bright Eye Cream and the C Rush Brightening Double Cream. So these are all really, really good. I definitely recommend if you want to brighten your complexion, um, especially if you're dry with this moisturizer right here because it is a little thicker and creamier. But this is, it's a 50% vitamin C, but it also has PHAs in it, which mildly exfoliate the skin and so good. Um, it also has hyaluronic acid. So it will brighten your skin. It'll plump your skin. And I love the effect that it had. It's also not a super strong vitamin C. So if you usually have any irritation with vitamin C, I would definitely recommend trying this one because it was so gentle and it just left my skin looking really glowy and like youthful and bouncy. The eye cream is really good as well. And the moisturizer I was just in love with. I'm more dry, more dry combination. And this moisturizer is amazing, especially at night. I love it. Another dry shampoo that I like is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. This one probably doesn't absorb as much oil, but I also really like it because my hair feels super like fresh, like freshly washed. Not like when you use some dry shampoos and it's like, you can just feel that you've used a dry shampoo, like your scalp is like drier because of all the oil reduction in there. This one just leaves your hair feeling super like fresh, but it doesn't absorb as much oil. So this would be like second day hair, perfection, um, something really light. It also just feels nice on the hair. It doesn't have a, a crunchy texture at all. So I like this one a lot too. A gummy that I didn't really like care for, I don't know that I actually used it long enough to see a difference, but this gummy, I just, I was like take it or leave it. This is the Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nails Gummy with Biotin. So you know Biotin is very common in hair skin and nails products but I didn't see any difference using this. That being said it probably takes a lot longer to see a difference than just one bottle so I would keep that in mind but not something I would go to repurchase. This product the I don't know how you pronounce this yeah, I'm gonna say Lou. Um, but anyway, this product I got in a subscription box and it was like a powdery, like, um, I don't know how to, how to describe it, like a, a chunky powder in there. And you mix it with water and you created like a paste. You put it on your skin and let it sit and then massage it off. And it was hard to figure out like the right amount of water to add to it. But once I found the right balance, I actually really, really like this product. So it will kind of like help with your pores and dead skin. And it definitely left my skin feeling really, really smooth. I just had to kind of like play with texture and the amount of water for a while before I felt like I had the right combination. But I surprisingly love it. So it cleanses, exfoliates, and brightens the skin. And my skin did feel amazing when I used this. So yeah, good product. The First Day Beauty Retinol Serum. This is a 0.25 pure concentrate. So I feel like if you're someone who wants to begin with retinol, this could be a really good option. It's not, however, my first first choice. It's my second choice. My first choice is Luna from Sunday Riley because it's an oil, it hydrates, it also has blue tansy to calm. But if you're strictly looking for just a serum retinol and maybe you've never used one before or you are sensitive, I would definitely check this one out. It's the First Day Beauty Retinol, like I said. And I did like it. I feel like I have just like gone past using you know such a low percentage of retinol like my skin can withstand higher so i i would go with higher personally but like i said beginners definitely check that out ah speaking of <laughs> i actually have a luna right here so this is a sleeping night oil like i said this one's amazing i love to use this one in the summertime because your skin will become a little bit more sensitive to the sun when you're using retinol at night so in the summer i tend to go for a lower retinol so that it's not as sensitized 
advertising. So um, I'm out in the sun more. Obviously, the warmer the weather, the more sun I am in. So Luna is perfect for summer, and that's why I ran out of this recently. Another Sunday Riley, the CEO Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. This one's also really good. I feel like it's more hydrating than anything else. It does have the benefits of vitamin C to brighten the skin, help your skin to produce more collagen on its own with the use of it. The type of vitamin C that's in here is my favorite. It's a THD Asorbate. That's the type of vitamin C's that they use and it is typically the ones that I will go for. I have some Halo Beauty Hair, Skin, and Nails Booster. I do feel like I started to see a difference in this. I had so many supplements that I didn't want to immediately repurchase, but it's definitely one I would think about repurchasing again. Obviously with supplements, you need to use them for a long time to really see a difference. But I do have to say like during quarantine was when I was using this and my nails were growing like crazy fast. And I think it also had a lot to do with me not working with my hands so much and like breaking my nails off. You know, just being at home and doing my thing while I was taking these, my nails grew a lot. So I do think that they work. I just feel like I should really try them more to give like a true, you know, intense testament about it. But I do like them. Another dry shampoo, the Tarte Hair Goals Dry Shampoo. I do like this one. It's not like my top three. Um, like I have a few that I really love over this one, but it does smell nice. It does absorb oil. It's not going to like significantly reduce all the oil on your scalp, but it will do some if that makes sense. So if you want to, you know, go for a lighter dry shampoo, like not as absorbing as IGK, I think this one would be a really good option, but it's just not my like number one favorite. I get a lot of questions about this because I talked about this before, the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray from This Works. Now I do not feel like I have completed my nighttime routine. And there's just did like a jackrabbit foot motion on the box that he's laying on. Okay, but I don't feel like my nighttime routine is done until I spray this on my pillow and lay down. I do feel like it's made a difference. And I was super skeptical. Like I was definitely the person that was like, oh my God, this is so stupid. Um, I don't like, I'm not an essential oils type person and it, maybe it's just because I don't know enough about it. But this one has lavender, vetiver, and wild chamomile. And honestly, I do feel like I fall asleep more easily with this and I have trouble falling asleep so anything that helps like I've got my satin pillowcase I've got my little like eye cover I've got this and my humidifier and that's how I get a good night's sleep and I need all those things so I really love it like I have backups I've repurchased this like three times already my camera overheated and I think I got through maybe 40% of what I had Anyway, so let's go ahead and get back into it. I'll try to be a little quicker too. So Glam Glow Super Mud. I think I have an empty of this every time that I do an empties video and it's because I love it. Great for pores, great for breakouts, and my skin just my skin just loves this product. So I also really like the Super Cleanse, which I just talked about in a video. Um, and yeah, both are just amazing for my pores and they keep my nose clear of blackheads or as clear as my nose will possibly be, <laughs> but I love it. The Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist. I didn't think that this was anything special. Like it did, you know, melt my powders in and it helped my makeup last, but I didn't see like, oh my God, like this is the most long wear or it's the most luminous, the most hydrating. It just did the job, but it's not one that I would pick up again. This Tula Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. Just a little guy, but I feel like cleanser, you know, a little guy is fine to be able to give a you, your opinion on it. I did not like this. Um, and I love a couple other Tula products that I've gotten recently. That sunscreen is amazing, but this just smelled like laundry detergent. It has the strongest clean scent, but not like clean, fresh, like you want your cleanser to be. It's It smelled like laundry detergent and I just could not deal with it. Apart from the smell, it did an okay job cleansing, but it, once again, it just wasn't anything phenomenal that would make me want to purchase it again. The Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible oil primer. I actually really like this and even the tiny one lasted a really long time. I feel like this is a really good product just to kind of protect your hair from heat. It gives a little bit of hydration at the same time. So I would definitely repurchase this again. I really like Bumble and Bumble products for the most part. I tried the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, just the small of this, and I really like it. It actually made me want to like seek out more Glossier products to try and they're definitely like on my list of like a brand I really want to dive into a little bit more, but I just have 
have so much that right now it just it hasn't made sense but if I wasn't so incredibly stocked up on product I would have definitely like repurchased and found other products to try but I really really liked it I enjoyed it a lot I have tried both of the drunk elephant moisturizers the Lala retro is my personal favorite because it is a little bit creamier I love that it has ceramides in it and the oils so I just feel like it's super super richly hydrating and great for dry skin uh, the proteiny polypeptide was not my personal favorite it does have you know the peptides which are anti-aging but my skin's typically a little bit drier so I could definitely use this for like a daytime like daytime nighttime kind of deal but I wasn't like overly thrilled with this one but my skin really enjoyed this so I would repurchase Lala Retro again I probably wouldn't repurchase the protein I had this Vita Brid scalp shampoo I think I got this in a subscription box as well and I was not crazy about this I didn't feel like it really did anything it's supposed to improve scalp and hair health strengthen the hair I feel like this did anything. I don't know it just didn't do anything special for me so I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. Ah uh, yes in every single empties video you see this the grande hair peptide shampoo and peptide conditioner. This is meant to give you fuller thicker hair. It just I don't know it just agrees with my hair so well and it's one of those things that like when I take it away and I try something else my hair it's not the same like I just love the way my hair acts with this and I'm actually using something right now that I liked at first it's from R and Co and I really liked it at first but after you know several uses I'm just like okay I'm ready to get back to my grande and I've already restocked on this I have like three of each already I really restocked so I love it I feel like I have a lot less hair fall with this too I obviously have you know fall when I wash my hair and brush but I feel like it's way way less when I'm using this so I just I love it highly recommend. I tried the Amica Reset Exfoliating Jelly Shampoo. I feel like this was just another one that I don't know if maybe I was expecting too much from it. I feel like for me exfoliating hair products I just don't know how to make them work properly and I feel like my little scalp scrubby thing the actual little like brush looking thing does a lot better job of exfoliating my scalp than any product that I've used. I love some other Amica products but I just felt like this one just I was like it's not like that amazing. I could do without it. It's not something that I would seek out and repurchase. If I got it again, like in a subscription or something, I would use it. It's good, but I don't know. Just not a not a shocker in either way. The Way of Volumizing Hairspray. I mean, it was good. I don't really typically use volumizing hairsprays because I, with my fine hair, I'm... I'm very used to my hair being able to like you know run my fingers through it so if I feel like my hair is stiff in any way I'm not really a big fan and it does like you know it gives some volume I don't know it just it's not my personal preference if I was going to buy another hairspray from way it would be their other one and I can't even think of which one that was but I liked it a lot better so yeah this just wouldn't be my my pick for my personal hair type even though you would think that volumizing would be like my preference I just prefer to have my hair feel sleek and healthy versus volumized if that makes sense so yeah uh, these were a holy grail for me for a while. I feel like my skin doesn't quite need as much of this as it used to, but these are the Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Correction Pads. These are amazing for breakouts. They also chemically exfoliate, and I was having a ton of hormonal breakout, like that jawline area, and you know, an occasional one here and there, and these like made such a difference in my skin. Like this really helped me, but nowadays, like I don't feel the need for them as much. I do have another jar but I only like pull one out around that time of the month I'll use them for a couple of days and that's really all I need so you know that could change it could two months from now I could be breaking out like crazy who knows but for now I don't need them but they are so so good if you've got hormonal breakouts and you haven't tried these try them as your exfoliation step in your routine and they're so so good the Pericone hypoallergenic gentle cleanser I think this is exactly what it claims to be it's very very gentle if you are sensitive and you want you know maybe a little bit higher end cleanser you want to invest in something a little nicer I do think that this is really really good um, I tend to go for cleansers that I feel like they're doing a bit more and this one just simply cleansed my skin very very mild great with a cleansing brush which I'm still like low-key shocked that Clarisonic is shutting down um, you guys told me that and I was like wow how did I not realize this already that's beside the point but it was really good with my Clarisonic so if you're sensitive and you want to invest in higher end cleanser I would definitely check this one out my Evian facial spray if I mean honestly if you want to feel bougie and you want water in a can 
why not? I use this more for the purpose of when I'm filming my skincare for Instagram or whatever it may be or if I need water in this room. It definitely comes in handy. Like I'll use it with my Suva liners that you need to wet before you use. I'll use it to mist my face before cleansing. But really it's more because I'm doing what I'm doing that this is so handy. If I wasn't doing this, I don't think I would really need this at all but you know if you want some bougie water by all means get you some Evian. The Hum Arctic Repair. So I think that for as much as I could have seen a difference in my skin I do think that I really enjoyed this but again this is one bottle of supplements and I really enjoyed like how my skin was looking in the time that I was using these and I would definitely repurchase these and continue to try them and use them. Like I said I'm just using up my supplements that I have right now. Um, I have so many and I just want to get through them before repurchasing anything so that they don't go bad. I would definitely repurchase the Arctic Repair. I feel like as for as much as I could have seen, it was really good. The Pretty Vulgar Powder Room Setting Powder. I think for the longest time on Instagram, every time I posted a picture, it, this was listed down below. I love it so much. So I actually use this entire powder and I don't go through powders very often because I have a lot and I really, really enjoyed this one. The only thing that I have that's like very similar is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. That one is probably equally as good, but they're both so, so good. If you need something that's just like translucent, you just want to set that isn't too dry under the eye, that doesn't crease. I love this one. So amazing. It also has like the most adorable packaging. So highly recommend this powder if you are in the market for one and you want something a little different. It's also not as dry as the Laura Mercier one, which was always the hang up for me. Like it's good, but it's dry. It's the only like issue I have with it. So definitely recommend this pretty vulgar one. All right, this Milani stick, the contour and highlight, sure if you can still get this but if you can I'm going to repurchase it for sure but the contour side of this like I use this stick and it was amazing I don't really care for the highlight it's my only problem like I kind of wish this just came as a contour like that's the highlight I mean it's kind of pretty but it just really doesn't do anything and the contour is so so good I got the shade one fair light and they do have other shades too so again I'm not sure if you can still get this. If you can, it would definitely be a repurchase for me and I would definitely recommend this as a drugstore contour stick option. Next up, the Lancome Advanced Genifique Sensitive. Now, the funny thing is, I think I got this in gratis. Yeah, I did. And I didn't really need the sensitive version of it, so I didn't see as big a difference as I would have liked given that my skin can withstand a lot of products and a lot of ingredients. And I think I've trained it up right, but the sensitive one I think would be a really good option for you if you you are someone who has sensitive skin obviously and Genifique is one of those interesting things that like it helps all your other products work better it activates your other serums it gives you a glow to the skin and this one just being like a very good option for sensitive skin so I like Lancome skincare I have several products like I said that are like my favorites two of their products are holy grails for me but I just wish they didn't put fragrance in their products like that's my gripe with almost every skincare out there it's just like stop putting fragrance in it but I think I don't know if this one actually has fragrance yeah, I still feel like it has fragrance, which for a sensitive skin product, like, take the fragrance out. But apart from that, I do like it, and if you are sensitive, I would recommend it. We only have four products left. I'm almost there. The Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. I think this is probably my oldest empty in here. Now, this is the old version before it had retinol added to it, which they only sell the retinol one now, not this one, which I'm kind of sad about. But I have the new one to try. I haven't dipped into it just yet, but I love this. It was very rich, very emollient, kind of like a little oily for the lack of a better term, but I love the way that it felt on my skin. So I love this and I'm excited to try the retinol one, but usually what I would do is put on my strong retinol and then go in with this and it was a really good combination. So I'm looking forward to trying the new version. I saw a few people use the really big Real Technique sponge. This is a like a body sponge. I think it's considered face and body though. And I was like, you know what, let me try it. And I feel like this is so different than older Real Technique sponges and even the smaller ones, like the regular face size, which I don't know what happened to the last one I had, but I feel like these are too firm now. And I mean, this one would probably be decent for the body, but it tore up really easily. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like splitting open and I've hardly used it. This is also dirty. This is not cleaned. Um, and I only washed this like twice maybe once or twice and it already started falling apart. So I don't know what they've done to like change their sponges, but I feel like they used to be so good. And now I'm just like, 
I mean, I don't know. The body ones probably is a little bit denser than the face one, but I just, I couldn't get down with this. I didn't feel like it was really that good for anything, even on the body. So yeah, I just go for like a body brush if I'm putting on something on the body. And I don't really wear body foundation ever. Like I don't feel like that's really a need. I use more like body glow products if I'm in the mood for them, but I usually use a brush or my hands to apply them. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I couldn't be bothered with this. And finally, two mini cleansers, and I actually love them both. First, the Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. <laughs> I feel like that's such a long name, but I already repurchased a big full size of this. If you haven't seen my Sephora haul, I'll pop it right up here for you guys to check out. It is really good cleanser. It's a really great basic. It's clean. It's got good ingredients. So I would definitely recommend it if you're in the market for one. And kind of similar in a way, the Grown Alchemist Gentle Gel Facial Cleanser. It has geranium leaf, a bergamot, and red rosebud. So this one uses a lot of like plant-based ingredients. Oh, it's made in Australia. But I love this. I feel like this was very gentle, but also really, really good at cleansing my skin. So I feel like it's one of those rare products that like it's so gentle, but it's also so effective. Hey, because sometimes like the most gentle products don't seem to do a lot, but I feel like this definitely goes against that like stereotype. It's gentle, good ingredients, and I loved it. I would definitely repurchase a bigger size of this. I enjoyed it a lot. All right, the trash can's empty. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these empty product reviews. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these products, anything that I mentioned. I will do my best to answer every single question. Uh, I may be a little bit delayed because of moving right now and everything is such a mess. And also I know that this is a weird, thing to have behind me but long story short I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so so much for watching I know this was a little long so thank you if you made it this far into the video you guys are amazing if you're still watching you're probably subscribed but if not make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you really soon in my next one bye guys